Uh, so Tyler, what I'm really excited for you about this episode, it's something I thought of a couple, you know, probably a week ago. A couple, yeah. Just something that is your answers or my brother's answers would be the only thing I would care to know. You know, you know what I'm saying? Other than Jordan and myself. Can, and l- l- I, I think I want to explain this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So be, and, and, and this is because I've had to, I've dealt with this like first hand. And I've never dealt with this before Just with another Connor, with another human being. Yes, Connor. Connor okay. has introduced me to a world of what I what I would what I would classify them as combo curse words. That's the main thing. Okay. Let's just say this. I'm Connor has a very yeah. wide array of curse words that he, that he chooses to oh, say. Oh, yeah, hold on. Right? There, there is not a curse word in, in my vocabulary that is off limits. I will use any Oh, for sure. At yeah. any given time. Any of them. Used in the right context and used in the right person. Yes. I'm not going to say, you know, a terrible word in front of the world. Like, I'm not going to go in front of my mom and drop, the, you know, the F-bomb all the time. Like, that's yeah. not how it's going to happen. Yeah. But uh, I'll, I'll use them sparingly and because I'm, I'm a firm believer that cuss words have great importance and they explain something very well. Okay. You know and I mean like I think if you drop an F bomb at the right spot, it shows you how, you know, it really does It can it emphasize. It really does emphasize. And so I'm a firm believer customers <laughs> are good for the vocabulary <laughs> and need to be used appropriately. Except I take it to an extreme. With that being said, he I takes it to way too far. Way too far. Don't they like not, not actually not not too far. I don't, yeah, but like He's he's arguing right now that it's necessary. He's using them in a, in a sense where it's like it's not necessary. But I only like, use it towards Jordan. Is it like, is it kind of like where the hell did this come from? Yes, oh, like 100%. you'll hear it and you'll be like, what in the world? I, I, <laughs> I've never I heard say that combo. There is at least two to three times a day where I will call Jordan something and he'll look at me like he'll repeat the words and go. What? And now and now and now you have me doing it. And so now he does the same thing to me. <laughs> oh. yeah. And, yeah, and, so. and it'll be random words. So the game today. I'm going to give you a list of some of these words. I'm going to give you one, and I want you to tell me what you think that word means, definition-wise, to me. And there's nothing off limits. There's nothing off limits. And there's almost no wrong answer. And there's no wrong answer. However, there is, when I use this, you can ask Jordan, it's not like I say a word. If I call you something, there is a meaning behind it. Like, it's not like I'm calling you something empty. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, uh, I may not. <laughs> I, I would say sometimes. Well, it's like, sometimes it's so out of your ass. <laughs> and, and you even end up laughing because you're like, yeah, I don't and, know where I don't I know where the hell that came from. <laughs> yeah. and, and, I'm, and I do this so much that I have, like, 2% of the words I've said. Like, yeah. I have said so many combinations of words that if I were to say them all in here, 20, they would get flagged. First and foremost, <laughs> like people would be like, dude, that cannot be said together. Yeah. Uh, most people would be like, okay, we're not going to listen to this. And if any mother was listening to this, they would probably tell anyone you cannot watch this anymore. Like, I, I say some pretty random, vulgar, weird stuff. Okay. And, and it's just, uh, you know, we'll just hop right in. So I want you to tell me <laughs> what your definition would be in my eyes. So I feel when like. When I call this something. I feel someone. like I've known you long enough that I might be able to do this. You might do pretty well. And, and the nice part is <laughs> you're going to give me one. You're going to give me your definition for me, and then I'm going to kind of summarize it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'll tell you, these things are adaptive. Okay. You know, it could have meant something different last week. I'll, that, I'll be honest. <laughs> right, right, right. And, and you... One month ago, one of these terms yeah. could have meant one thing, and then it, you said it last week, and it meant yeah, a little bit of a different thing. Different. And normally, they're towards Jordan <laughs> in a really <laughs> weird time of the day. Like, if Jordan wakes up, if I don't say babe, pun, <laughs> or something along those lines, as it's that, that's funny to me... It's something like this. And we're going to yeah. start with the first one. Oh, Most commonly used, ass tit. <laughs> For clarification, the term is the ass, ass tit. tit I call Jordan ass tit on a daily basis. <laughs> okay, so literally it has nothing to do with ass or tits. It's like okay. you're, you're just a dumb fuck. That's literally what That's it is it? to me. So just, just simply dumb fuck. Just simply dumb fuck. Okay, so to me, the way you describe ass tit would be... <laughs> Like, if you think of a bad boob, right? <laughs> there are, just some okay. poor quality. Connor, shut up. There's no such thing as a bad boob. There's worse boobs than other boobs, correct. There's a totem pole. <laughs> okay, you're correct. There's a totem pole of breasts, yes. There's no such yes. thing as bad boobs. Okay, fair. That's fine. However, if you were to take the What about just sag boys? Sag boys? <laughs> well, I think Jordan I mean, just created his own. I think he did. <laughs> yeah, I guess sag boys. Sag boys. Saggy boobs. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but my thing is, I'm not calling him a saggy boob, and I'm not calling <laughs> no, him an ass. I know. Ass tit I know you're not calling him an a ass or boob. a tit or a bad boob. You're literally just saying. So my what's term, up, dumbass, or no, no, my term for up? ass tit is if you're a bad boob, it's of poor quality. So it is saying like 
hi, <laughs> good morning, you piece of poop, poor quality. Like, that's what it means. <laughs> It just okay. means of, of lowest of low. Because I've heard you say ass tip before, and I'm just like, yeah, I know what that means, but like, literally, I guess I don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, 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 that's a good one. What about, <laughs> what about fat tits? <laughs> big boobs. Oh, uh, so you think of big boobs. That's what most Most of these are going to have the word tit in it. What? Most of these are going to have the word tit in it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I would say uh, fat tits is, when, uh, is like a lazy thing. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Like, okay, like uh, it would be like, hey, we're gonna go to the gym, and uh, <laughs> it would be like, yeah, probably in like thirty minutes. I'd be like, all right, fat tits, you know. What so I mean? like, I oh, think you'd be lazy for the next so thirty minutes. <laughs> the last two words you said, I'm thinking of them too, too literal, too literal, not broad enough. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And that's okay. what I mean. You got like, if I were to call you this one day, and you, I mean, you're gonna get it in a month. You know what I mean? You're gonna get called something. And you're gonna look at me, and you're gonna be like, "What did well, you just say?" I'll say it better. And what <laughs> the hell does that mean? Like, I've had some where Jordan literally has to like triple take it. Like, Wait, what'd you say? And I'll say it again. I'm like, no, no, no. Did you? What'd you say again? And I'll say it again. Yeah, that's exactly what I heard yeah. two fucking times. You heard me the what? first time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and yeah, it just yeah. blows me apart. Okay. Um, what do you think it is when I say the word uh, poop dick? <laughs> <laughs> God, that's one of those ones. Uh, that no, one, I feel like I almost recall know, that no, one. There's, <laughs> there's no way not to be literal about that. Oh, <laughs> see, you're wrong. You don't think so? Yeah, you're wrong. If you go you just got stank dick, man. Okay, so do you have? Oh, so, so am I going straight bo with it? Like, am I mean? Yeah, you kind of smell. You, you got that poop. Right, going. right, right. But that's not what I mean. Not, that's good. Like, maybe that's what it just transferred. That's a good definition. Maybe now yeah. that's my new definition for it. Right. Maybe I just transferred it to that. You, got some, right. you, you, got, you, you got BL. smell, man. Like, you smell like poop dick. This might be the <laughs> first time ever, but you may have changed my definition. Okay. Like, I cannot use it the way I've been using it. It just has officially been changed. Poop I dick just, is now bo. Yeah, that's gross. And I love it. I just, like, this <laughs> sounds disgusting. But it, but it's say good. I smell like ass. No, it's not. <laughs> it, it doesn't hit it. It's home. too damn easy. It huh? doesn't hit at home. <laughs> <laughs> like you know when someone says like you're an idiot. Like it's like oh that doesn't hurt. But if someone calls you like, <laughs> hard, oh, hard, that doesn't hurt. hurt. Call you a I wish that hurt. They're like, dude, yeah. you're acting really retarded. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. when it's like, ooh, we don't use that word by the way. I don't like that. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to be called that. Right. You don't want to have poop dick. We don't use the. You can be smelly. But you don't want to be poop dick. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, it's a more... So, so it sounds like I could actually change your definition just by what I'm saying. I like it. Yeah, oh, okay. 100%. Okay. So, what was, so what was your definition of poop dick then? Uh, stank dick. Or his. Yeah, well, his. My, my, his. My if you changed it to stank, yeah, what was my, it? Mine originally was just like, you have, you know, you're just being, you're a bad apple that day. You know what I mean? Like, okay. You're just... You don't. You, you're not deserving of anything that day. You should just probably sit at home and just not do anything. Jay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, you know, I'd hear the things he says, and then I'm just like, wait, what? Oh, yeah, wait, that, no, that's what happens. That's what happens. Okay. And I would say at this point, it's it's it's. You know what I didn't think about outside. What? what? We have neighbors. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. That's all. Like, mom, but that's, that's fine. fine. Poop dick. They're hearing it when they're oh, going to bed. It's oh, fine. I mean, it's Oregon. We're fine. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're going to go to the another one. Uh, what about... What I don't know how bitch tit hasn't come up yet, because that oh. is, without a doubt, the number one term that that okay. is used in this what house. What about bitch tit? By I both of us. Bitch tit. Yeah, that, that's a common one. Well, and you got two, and you got a kind of double whammy here, because you got bitch tit and you got bitch tits. Yeah, and they are different. <laughs> <laughs> Plural is very different. <laughs> so, okay, bitch tit and tits. <laughs> this, is, this is a fun one. You know... I I just want to be so literal with it, but I know you're just like you have so much going on in that mind of yours. Oh, it's swirling. I know <laughs> that's the thing. So, so I'll look, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what I'll do is I'll give you a little a little tip here. When I think of bitch tits as in plural, you're talking about multiple people. No, no, no. I, it can be one person. <laughs> I can definitely be one person. Okay. If you have bitchy tits, that's a personality thing. Yeah. Plural is personality. So you can go literal, but bitch tit. Like if I were to define bitch tit, I feel like I would define it as like, you know that like girl that you come across that she's a bitch. Yeah. But like she also has good tits, and it's like tough to admit it, because it's like I really don't like her, you know. But it's like, but she's got good tits, right? That, that's bad. She's bitch tits, you know. Oh, that could be like a, it's like a good, good but it's bad. Like it's like I don't want to have, I don't want to compliment you, but like that's bitch tit. That's bitch yeah, tit. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch tits is like <laughs> your being. You're such a bitch. You, no, no, no. Like 
bitch tits could also be replaced with like dumb bitch. Yes, you know I, mean? I agree. Those, those are synonyms. Like so if I call you bitch tits, it's like, dude, you that's, are being the biggest bitch tits. That's in the world. what I want to say. Like I want to <laughs> be so literal. Boobs. I you just want to be like, boobs. you're just being a bitch right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. However, bitch tit, it, you, you hit a pretty spot on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I, mean? I feel like bitch like, tit uh, is just a nickname. Like it's like I want. <laughs> uh, it's like you know how you don't want to say sorry or you're right to your significant other. Instead, I say bitch tit. <laughs> you know, I will you, never you, say you, that. Are you are you calling me your significant other? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're pretty much at that point. Certain <laughs> occasions. Um, what about dumb balls? Dumb balls. Dumb balls. I don't I recall this one. You that one. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't recall this one. Dumb because balls you're not mouth. usually a dumb ball. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. yeah, yeah like you I agree. Up with you. Like you don't have very many dumb ball tendencies. Moments. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have some, but not. not did, you, or, did you guys ever use the term "numb nuts"? Oh, yeah. "numb nuts" is great. Okay. This is actually it's still a it's still good. I would agree. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. It's still for good. It. Numb yeah. nuts is great. This is a synonym for it for yeah. sure. Like uh, dumb balls. <laughs> dumb balls. It's just like. <laughs> yeah, these are all so like, dumb. Okay, I'm thinking if if you're dumb balls, right? You are a smart person, right? But oh, you. Can say the stupidest shit. Oh, like spot on. Literally, yeah. literally, you literally, literally, you right now. Nailed well done, well done. You right now are dumb balls. Yeah, you nail that. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I'm saying stupid shit. Oh, like okay, yeah. Smart guy. Yeah, yeah you are very smart. Now, but you say stupid shit all the time. I, uh, 100%, <laughs> I, I agree. I like that. I like that. <laughs> so most people, when they call you a poop head, what do you think they mean? But what do you poop think? I, I feel like you're. What a do you think kid. I mean? You think it's kid? That, I think that's what most people like. You're being childish. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think I mean by poop head? Because I don't mean you're acting like a little kid. No, I know you're not. Or like a little <laughs> no, shit. When you know I, what I mean? Uh, yeah. That's not what I, I mean you're by being poop head. A, a poop head. This one I don't know. It's like a dumb, like you just have dumb thoughts? Yeah, oh my god. I, I literally, my, my definition is like your thoughts don't make sense. Okay. Like, like, like your poop head is like your head is jumbled in mush. And right now it's coming out of ass out I, of your mouth. I literally, ass is coming out I of literally mouth think I'm getting this now. Because your brain is dumb. I'm trying to think like you. <laughs> oh, it is, is coming out good? Yeah, I it's, think. It's possible. <laughs> it's um, gonna, uh, it's gonna be so bad when I live here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's gonna get worse. Oh god, <laughs> it's not gonna get worse. <laughs> so we've gone over a poop dick. Yeah. What about shit dick? Shit dick is more common than poop dick. Oh, much more common. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it comes out, and I know it sounds similar, but there, we, we've gone over the d- variations of poop and shit. What do you think <laughs> the difference now translates? So we're on shit dick. Yeah. What do you think <laughs> shit dick means? You're just a be- It's it's like shithead. But, uh, hmm, a little more on the attitude side on this one, right? Yeah, than, yeah, yeah. You're just being a super. You're just a big shithead. Shitheads are not bad in terms of what it is, but I would say shit dick or shitty dick. I don't, I, I, Both I, of them. I, I, Those I, are I, interchangeable. Shitty sometimes is more so saying like zero help. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you have shitty attitude and you're no help. Okay. You're, 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 okay. like, you're offering nothing you're, right you're now. You're useless you, you, and yeah, 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 that that's what it means. It pretty much means you're useless. Okay. Now you know. So I want to say something right oh, now. Oh, I love it. My girlfriend is gonna listen to this and be like, "Why the hell are you living with them?" <laughs> I mean, and I well, know, and, she, and, I know she, like, and I know she likes you. And then you're she's gonna have a different perspective on you now. <laughs> so it, it all comes out of love. No. Uh, <laughs> all I have to say is these words don't really leave the house other no, they, than at the grocery store. Uh, every once in a while, they'll yeah. come out, and, and it's really funny. Uh, yeah, what is it about the grocery store that just that, that elicits these responses? Because we have so, like, we have some great conversation I in the grocery. I feel like store. at a grocery store, you get to be the most little kid you possibly can be anywhere. <laughs> like you cannot be a little kid more so anywhere else <laughs> other than at a grocery store because you have every bad or good decision at the tip of your hand. Like, you can be like, I'm going to go to town on some Oreos and chips, soy cookies, yeah. and some Doritos. I'm going to just, you know, and frozen pizza. And, yeah, yeah. and then like, something I'm, pops in your head, and you're like, or maybe I should be good today, and I'm going to get a salad, and I'll get some chicken, you know, and I'll go home and cook instead yeah. of being a lazy asshole. Yeah. yeah. You have those abilities to choose. Yeah. And I feel like as an adult. There's something about being in that. those decisions and make those decisions. Especially with someone you despise, such as Jordan, <laughs> you happen to just God, say I love you. that you don't, that you shouldn't say, and 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 I, the only way I can describe this is I was living with my brother for one summer, and he had a buddy who lived with him, and we were pretty old at this point, and we were playing Call of Duty every day, like it was like we worked out, we ran, we played Call of Duty, right? Like that was that was our day, 
And it got to the point where we were cussing really, really bad. And at one point, we were <laughs> saying things that you just shouldn't say. Yeah. And at one point, he was an aisle away from me in a Walmart, and I said this word. And what was the I'm word? Not gonna go over what the word was. What did it start with? Uh, no, nothing. But it was <laughs> it was one of those things that like you just like public doesn't need to hear. Like if I were to yell, "Hey, bitch!" from across the aisle, that doesn't need to be said out loud, right? Yeah. And I can tell you, it was probably worse than "Hey, bitch." It was worse. Oh, it had to be. And that was the moment where I closed my head, I walked down, and I got, and we went to each other, and we both at the si- same time like thought to each other, like, "This is getting this bad. This got to stop. Like, it's, it's over. We like, gotta go. No more. We need <laughs> to leave right now, and we need to be. Better. We, we can never. We come need back to, to be this. better people. We can never come back to yeah. this grocery store ever. Yeah, yeah. Walmart <laughs> is off limits, even though it's the only. <laughs> thing we can shop at in the nearest 10 miles i'll drive you know what i mean yeah like it was like this is not a good look like we're bad people right now yeah and so like ever since that day like it changed until i got my own house and jordan moved in and then it was like oh, i'm kind of gonna go back to these terrible ways of calling you <laughs> terrible names but as long as it doesn't leave here or get too loud in public places we're good and so you know every once in a while like we, we we'll have a close run in a close run in where it's like somebody will be really close like, to us oh, in an aisle and it's like oh wait hold up yeah maybe we should calm down us, yeah because if they did there are we're getting cops called you know what i mean like <laughs> this is good yeah yeah um but as for lauren she just needs to know you know it comes out a good place deep down i'm a good person you know uh and uh if this is my only flaw then it's pretty damn good flaw to have <laughs> okay. you know what i'm saying like yes. if, if that's her only thing like uh, the only reservation is he likes to say shit dick too much. <laughs> I'm going to say, you know what? That smells like a pretty damn ball in roommate. That's a good point. If the worst thing is that he says that word. You I, know mean, I mean, okay, like you said, if it, as long as it stays in your own home. Yeah. Uh, or it's like you're at a grocery store in an aisle by yourself and you're like, hold on. Hey, shit dick. This is what I'm going <laughs> to yeah. say. This is what I'm going to say. If Lauren's over, you're not getting called shit dick. I probably You're going to get called honey. No, I you're won't. You're going to get called babe. Okay. I'm going to probably make some sexual innuendos. <sighs> But I would not call you shit, Nick. No, yeah, you are good with toning it down if, yeah, yeah. if the if, if the right guest over, is over. And if there's people here, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use those vulgar terms. Right. However, I the will, second they leave, second they leave. Oh, the moment they leave. Oh, <laughs> you're getting over it. I've hold on. I've been packing you, him in for an hour, so built two up. hours, five hours. That shit's gotta come out. You just gotta and it's gonna go. come out in a fury. Yeah. So that every <laughs> other word I say is gonna be something. You're gonna be like, God, this guy's on one right now. And that's God, okay. And you just gotta know that's okay. Yeah. But you're gonna get more, uh, yeah. You're gonna get more random, weird stuff said to you rather than rude stuff. You know, I like think it's gonna be like, uh, hey, when Lauren leaves, and she's not gonna get any tonight, am I? You know, like that's <laughs> the kind of stuff that would be said <laughs> if she was over, and it would be hilarious, and both people would laugh. And uh, yeah, I mean, as simple as that. Like that. That's all. Like that's all that would be said. Though no, I'm not saying, and she, I'm not hurting feelings. I, no, I know. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying she's gonna like. Don't know. Don't live with them. Oh, I'm know? not saying she's <laughs> either. I'm but just, like, trying, I'm I'm just saying, like she's gonna be like. Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> yeah, he's different. <laughs> oh, he'd be acting different. Oh, he's different. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I did want our first ever episode. I came up with a new word today, and I've been really refraining on not using it. Would you? Do, do I know it? No. And I wanted to. I wanted to use this word and have you define a definition. And it's going to be the definition that sticks. I didn't think you were going to break one of my other definitions, but you did. I broke two. Yeah, yeah. So this is going to be a new definition. New and it's going to be a great user because we love the first word, and it's just it's it's good. Let's hear it. If I call you a peen hole, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> My God, you are being a peen hole. Right? Oh, I love what does that. that mean? I love that. Uh, I feel like it's just a great combination of words. First off, peen is a great word. Peen you're because just, it's not qu- a peen. It's not rude to like penis. You no. know what I mean? Like it's not rude like a dick. You yeah. should be a peen. But what does peen hole mean? No one likes a good. No one likes a bad peen hole. Yeah, you gotta be a peen hole. So what's peen hole? Ooh, peen hole. Peen hole. Oh wow! <laughs> Don't get me it, wrong. I love a little like a good you know insult with peen, but <laughs> peen hole is a new level. Peen hole. It, it, it just takes it a little bit further. It does. And, and you know what I'm gonna love is at some point I'm gonna go somewhere and someone's gonna call me a peen hole. I'm be like, God, that's great word. <laughs> like, I don't know where you heard like, that yeah, word, I am, or if you actually, came up thanks. with that on your own. But that's a phenomenal <laughs> word, and I'm proud of you. You know what I mean? And hopefully, it's at a grocery store across the aisle, so I can <laughs> buy that groceries for those people. I want to reward them for that word. It's like you're not being a complete idiot, right? But there's some things you are saying that don't make sense. It's kind of like the other word we were just talking about. There's a lot of those. <laughs> Damn it. What was the one? The one that I, like, broke. Shit dick? 
maybe yeah it's got a little bit of shake dick in there so for me yeah, I think that was it. he's yeah. like a combination of asshole and being a real cock like I know those are very similar okay like a lot of people be like ah asshole cock same thing right like uh, no they're so different in terms of like personality I think the, there's actually it, a big difference for me you're a little bit more arrogant if you're a cock exactly yeah, you, yeah. Have, you yeah. have some smugness yeah. Yeah. yeah as an asshole you're just being rude so yes. this is a rude cocky douche when okay. you're being rude, rude cocky so it's like everything rude combined it's, what it's like everything combined oh it's it, 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 it is, it's kind of like what I, I would call it Neapolitan <laughs> This is a Neapolitan word. Neapolitan word. You know, it comes with a little bit of everything. It's coming at you. Okay, yeah. A little chocolate, a little strawberry, and a little vanilla. You know, you never know. And you may even get a little, you know, cookie outside. <laughs> it's going to hit you. It's going to hit you hard. Wow. You don't want to be a penal. You, I mean, you don't want to be a penal. You don't want to be a penal. What about an ass clown? An this clown? one I feel like is common. Yeah, this is it's common very more common. so than me. I, I, I've heard I, this I would one say before. other people use yeah. ass clown or, or clown in, in, in a cuss word like that. Yeah. It's just, I feel like being an ass clown is like, you are saying stupid shit. Yes. And you are making yourself... And you look, look like an idiot. You look like an idiot. Yeah. You're making yourself look worse. Like, you don't want to be an ass clown. Like, you don't want to be a clown. Agent. You're a 100%. fool. 100%. I, 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 would, I would argue that I, I think it's, you sound dumb and you're trying too hard to sound not dumb. And you're sounding... Ah, uh, okay. That's that's what I would say. Like you, are, your effort level is too high for the output that you're giving, and your output's so shitty that you should just bring the effort level to zero and stop trying. You know what right. I mean? Like, you're trying. I mean. You're trying so hard to be cool, but you're actually just coming off like an idiot. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And, and, but you continue to try too hard. Yeah. Okay. And it's kind of getting worse and worse until you stop. You're okay. just being an ass clown at that point. Okay. I like I mean, it. I like yeah. it. Uh, and then we'll I, think, I feel like ass clown is more common. Yeah. Well, that's the most is. common word he said. All night. Uh, yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, I'm telling you, I don't, I, this isn't even scratching the surface. No, I know it's not. And Trust they, me. Some, sometimes they're going to come out and they're going to be like, wait, how did those things come together? Like peen hole. I mean, that, that goes together, obviously. Also, you put words and combinations together before where even you, where even you bust out laughing because you're like, whoa. You're like, you oh, surprise you yourself. You <laughs> you're talking so fast that like the second one comes out and you're like, huh. I don't even I know. I said weird stuff like taint balls. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Taint balls. Taint balls? Yeah, but that's the add up. That doesn't mean Like, anything. that's not off the table. That, that will is, come out. That kind of stuff that, will come out. That kind out. of stuff comes out. And that's like, those are the head scratchers that don't mean anything. And yeah. then when you ask me, I go, I really don't know where it came from. <laughs> like, I don't know how those two words were at the top of my mind, but they were. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know how they come up, but they come up. Okay. You know, what I mean? you know what I'm saying? Like every once in a while, you were, some random stuff. It just stuff sounds happens. like you're gonna you're trying to make up a word out of two other <laughs> stupid words. Oh, yeah. he's in a little bit of too too much of a desperation mode. If something like that yeah, comes yeah. out, every, every okay. once in a while something will come out, and th those are the days where I've already got like two or three, and I'm like, ah, oh, do I get a hit? Yeah, do yeah. Do you're, I get the gold you're pressing sombrero? your luck a little bit. You know what I mean? yeah. like, am I gonna throw on the gold sombrero <laughs> and make this a day or what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I feel like that happens every once in a while. But I would just fair warn you that, yeah, this is a daily occurrence. This isn't, uh, this uh, no, isn't like once I, a week. Okay, it's not my first radio, Connor. I've been here multiple times. <laughs> I mean, Jay, how many times do I use these words at you a day? I would say on a day where I'm here all day? Day you're not here all day. A day where you work. Okay, well then, in the morning, probably like five. And then by the time I get home, oh my. Who knows? If we make a grocery store trip... By the end of the night, thirty. Yeah. We're, we're looking I mean, at thirty-five, forty, often. maybe. And they're, and they're and they're really weird. There's been some times where we've looked in the mirror and gone, "What the fuck did you <laughs> say? <laughs> Does is that one of those words? Do you, do you go to bed happy with yourself sometimes? Oh, oh are, he sleeps like a day. baby. Dude, <laughs> there are <laughs> some days. <laughs> there some, there was one day where we were at the we were playing pool. And what word did I come up? Was that was that ass tit for the first time? Yeah, I think it was that one for the first time. And I could not time. stop laughing. I, was I there. literally call them it. Uh, what was it you? I thought it was Chad. I thought it was just us. us or I thought it was just us. Yeah, maybe it was just us. But one time I called him and asked him. I think is what the word was. And uh, we were at playing pool, and he just started dying laughing. <laughs> and I thought it was funny, too. I, mean, I came up with it. I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. I'm going to call him. And I called him, and he started laughing. And so then that caused me to laugh. And I'm not kidding you. He that burst the whole thing. For I mean. like 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Off and on. 
for <laughs> yeah. minute, 30 seconds at a time. He yeah. did this for like 25 minutes. And it just kept coming. And he just kept saying the word out loud. Because it's just so like, stupid. He was, like, he was like, asked it. And then he laughed for like 30 seconds. And then he would like shoot a shot. And then he would just go, asked it. And <laughs> over and over. And I remember just sitting there and just like, that one's a sticker. Like, yeah. like a sticker. that right there was just pure gold. Yeah. And that one's going to happen. And it's going to keep coming. And like. Every once in a while, I'll get like one of those a day, or, t- or I'll get like a two a day, mm-hmm. where I say two of them, and we're like, those are good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, those were actually quality insults. And on those days, I got to admit, yeah, you go to bed pretty good. You go to bed <laughs> with a smile on your face. Okay. You're like, I you know accomplished something today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> That's the feeling More you so get. than what I do at work. Like, I, 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 you it, don't gosh. even work, dude. Oh, I work. <laughs> I work. This, but this is the most rewarding thing in your life, right? <laughs> oh, know, like, this is much more rewarding than, <laughs> yeah. than sometimes day, days at work. Like, this this will compare. I feel you like he mean? feels more accomplished making fun of Jay than he does with his own work. Oh, oh for 100%. sure. Like, you know when you go to the gym and you have a good pump and you get home and you're like, dude, I, like, I can't move my arms or my legs or I'm not going to walk tomorrow. Yeah. It's like one of those days. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it's like an extracurricular that was just so good. <laughs> Like, it's like the day that the girls are like, hey, you should come play tetherball for the first time. You show up to tetherball and you wipe the floor with them. Tetherball? Like, Screw you guys. Where'd you come up with tetherball? <laughs> I don't the know. Sports? <laughs> that's how my head works. <laughs> You're going to question See, a lot of See, that's just a glimpse right there. That's yeah. a glimpse of the weird shit that comes out. All right. You know what I'm saying? Usually I'm the weird one, but... No, man, you have no, no comparison. I, yeah, I don't. Thank God. Oh, <laughs> it's, it, oh, and you know what? It's the worst. Fortnite. True. Yeah. Oh, it, you're more unfiltered. That's why. For, especially when I'm not playing like competitively in terms of like I'm not trying really hard. If I'm just playing like a regular solos, duos, squads, mostly solos because solos I'll call kids some names that you're saying. Like, huh? <laughs> what? Like they can't even hear you when you said that. Yeah. Like I'll have some of those. Yeah. And so I would say that's when it gets the worst. Or basketball. When I'm playing basketball, I'll, I'll, I'll use some words that I probably shouldn't. Like a video game. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll use like where the person's from as part of the insult, like if I like Luka Doncic, you know, like I'll use uh, I'll use his foreign name and, uh, and I'll blow him up or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it gets it gets pretty loud and uh, rambunctious around here. I don't doubt it. Rambunctious. <laughs> rambunctious is a good word to describe my words. It's just like sometimes I'll be on the phone with Connor and I know Jay's there because he says some stupid words. Like that. <laughs> yeah, it's like you are so damn dumb, or you know, like yeah, yeah, and he calls you an ass tit, or he says. I, I, what's the other one I've heard you say multiple it's times? It's got to be bitch tit. It could. It probably is bitch. I would tit. say bitch tit is the most common. It, it is for sure. Bitch tit. Yeah. I don't know why, but I really like uh, in, in the right use. I really like the word bitch. Uh, my, my <laughs> 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 it's terrible. That That's terrible? my favorite word. I feel like it's a high quality <laughs> word with many meanings. Oh you know, God. like I feel like you can like you know how Eminem. Is like yeah, there's no you know rap words for orange, but then he's like, and you're real orange, you know what I mean, or <laughs> yeah. orange, yeah. and like he makes things rhyme. I feel like bitch is that adaptive, you know what I mean? Like it has thirty different meanings, even though there's really only one true meaning of it. Like yeah. there's really like thirty different meanings. Well, for being technical, there's two. <laughs> well, if you go Urban Dictionary style, sure, there's two. But <laughs> if you go real, definition, there's probably multiple on Urban yeah, if, if Dictionary. Yeah, go, yeah. If you go real definition, just truly, you know, son of a female dog or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 If you can just go by that, technically, there's one term. <laughs> I think it's I just, honestly, I think it's just <laughs> female dog. I don't think it's son of a female dog. Yeah, it's female dog. It's just, oh, is it just female it's dog. Just female <laughs> yeah. dog. You're thinking. You're thinking. You added the son like a bastard. I think. Oh, yeah. that's what I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah. Of bastard. <laughs> I'm thinking of bastard. Because, yeah. Good call. <laughs> I mean, like, you guys watch The Office, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when he, when Andy's, like, at the dog auction and he just, or they're at the auction and it's about yeah. the dogs or whatever, yeah. and he's like, yeah, I'm going to take all these bitches home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Referring yeah. to the female dog. Right, right, right. Exactly. This um, bitch, sassy human <laughs> Yeah. Is, <laughs> that's uh, just what it reminds me you of. You want to know yeah, what yeah. another word is I use very common with another slang word? The Tit. word dirty. Oh. I don't think it, what? Like, yeah. Yeah. That's a common one. Oh, I don't even know. You dirty bitch. Uh, Honestly, you've obviously. been you've been on the slut and whore game recently. Oh, well, no, I have not. Yeah. Oh, you have? No, no. Yeah, for you have. For podcast sake, I have not used those words. <laughs> I, I feel like those what are What do you mean for podcast sake? You just said peen hole ten minutes ago, <laughs> and now you can't say slut? Yeah. Listen, I, I he love, said a lot of stuff. I love women, and I would never downgrade a woman. Oh, no, no, I'm not saying you're using it in that I context. I'm just saying those. It's my roommate named Jordan, who is a man, <laughs> who is not any of those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, he will be called those things on a daily basis. Oh, of course. 
Yeah, I have been on that. I, I've been on that that bad train for <laughs> sure. I, I've been calling you. Uh, I think it's because you're uh, doing so much different stuff nowadays. That you just, you know, I, I gotta. I just oh, you gotta add slut in there. I think it's yeah. just because he misses you. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. They're all terms of endearment. Yeah, yeah pretty much. R- realistically, it's because I He doesn't him. know how to say <laughs> words nicely. No, I don't. Every once in a while I do, though. Like what? Every once in a while I give him a hug and tell him I love him. After <laughs> Sarcastic. I call him. <laughs> right after he calls me bitch tits. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, you're a bitch tit, And I'll go, you know what? I didn't mean that, and I'm sorry. And I'll go get that, and I'm like, I love you, though. Uh, Every once in a while that does come out. It's a, it's a little... Uh, it's a little saddened in me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while, okay. I feel like I did a little too much that day. You know, like I picked on him too hard. I don't want to... Like, I'm so sorry for calling all these names, but tomorrow you're getting it too. <laughs> oh, like, I want I want you to go to bed and go, God, Connor's kind of an asshole. I love him, but he's kind of an asshole. But I don't I'm want moving you, out. But I don't want you to Oh, go I've to said bed. that to myself when I go to bed since I met you. The what? Oh, I love him, but he's, he's an asshole. Have you ever... <laughs> but you've never gotten to the point where you're like... I don't like him right now. No, like of you've never been not. actually. Uh, angry with me. No, there have been a couple times where I was angry with you enough where I was like, "This, I, I despise him right now." What was it? What were those times? Um, it's usually when we when we're playing sports or something like that. I would say because that because that brings out the worst in me. Uh, when we're going one on one in the driveway, you know, on that on that, <laughs> like I don't care, I don't I don't care who you are, what what you're doing. You're my least favorite person. So you have you gone time. to bed? Have you gone to bed? No, I've never gone to bed. No, for sure, never gone to bed. But I've had 15 minutes since where I'm like. Uh, worse than me right now, and then that's the only thing that's on my mind. I, I have felt worse enemy J before. When, when let me ask you when? When, when have you felt worse? Enemy J comes out in competitive nature when he is getting shit talked to. Yeah, and if you you're exactly right. You're Jay exactly right. During a competitive nature, like we were playing. And and, and, and let me and let me tell you why. Let me tell you or why. Or if things are not his way on a competitive thing, he also no, no, will have no, 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 that, that's not true. That's not true. It's the it's the pairing of those two circumstances. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so and the reason that brings out the, it doesn't bring out the worst in me. I wouldn't say, but the reason why that gets me going more than anything is because I don't respect that in any facet. I don't respect shit talking. It's oh, an unnecessary. It's a, yeah. It's an unnecessary thing, and I feel like it's it's a sign of weakness from the shit talker. Oh, I and, and and yeah, I don't. I, I've never shit talked once in my life, other than like messing around in a competitive nature. Like we're talking about sports, I've never shit talked once. See, in my I'm life. in the same boat as you, though. I like I like a si- I like a silence and let and let you do the, your body See, do mine's the talking. More out That's of what humor I like. with you per se. Yeah, because you know it works. Because you know, know it works. gets under my I skin, know, so you keep stuff. going. So uh, <laughs> so the reason. Why but I if you want to bring if you want to bring out 100 percent me, then you know how to do it. Oh, 100%. So, <laughs> so the reason why I bring that up is because we were playing ping pong the other day. And uh, Jay's better than me at ping pong. Hands down. I, I'm, I'm, I won't even argue with it. I am the worst ping pong player out of the people who come over to this house on a daily basis. I am the one who would get beat the most, other than the girls. Right, right, right. If that makes sense. Well, n- Chad, now, now Christian. You probably would beat me. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like you guys just like, I'm not that great at ping pong. I'm okay. Like, I can hold my own, but I'm, I'm definitely not winning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so... We were playing the other day, and uh, he had beat me pretty bad two games in a row. I had beat him our first game. He beat me in the next two. It was only our fourth game, and I was beating him by, like, nine. I don't know how. I was beating him pretty good, and, like, he just wasn't getting a couple bounces his way, you know? And I was kind of getting a bad couple bounces, balls. You know what I mean? Uh, I was kind of getting some of the bounces that you're like, oh, I needed that. And he wasn't getting those. And so that paired with the fact that I was winning, I think I said something really small. Like, Are you talking about this like literally like two days yeah, ago? A couple days ago. It w- you, I know exactly what you said. What did I say? You kept on saying. Um, oh, I said let Jordan. Beat yeah, Jordan. yeah, yeah, yeah. You I kept on saying that, and, he, himself, and, and like one point would happen, and then he would say that five times yeah, in a row, yeah, yeah. and then it would happen again on the next point, and he would say it five times and this again. This is the reason. And I was, why. and it's just like, oh, you this got. Hold on, let me give you some context. <laughs> I forgot one part of the story. We were talking about who's good at what. I'm good at ping pong because I can place the ball. If I know where I want to hit it, yeah. I'm going to hit it to those spots, and I'm going to try to beat you, not because I'm better than you, but because I'm going to make you hit your worst shot over and over and over again. Yeah, That's how I play ping pong. Jay plays ping pong like he plays tennis, so he's got power, and he's going to take some shots he probably shouldn't, but sometimes he's going to hit them, and you're going to be like, God, that was, you're incredible. Chad plays with, he has just He's one very shot. consistent, man. Well, he's consistent, he doesn't but he make mistakes. one shot that is really, really hard to stop. Yeah. And you kind of have to give him that shot every once in a while. Yeah. And if he's going to hit that shot every time, you're not going to beat him because it's like, you know, there's just nothing yeah. you can do about the hard yeah. left slam on the right. left side of the table. When, yeah. That means you can only use the right side of the table. You know yeah. what I mean? And so it's like, 
sometimes you're forced to hit one over there, and when you do, it can either, you know, it can really hurt you. Yeah. And so we were talking about that mid-game, and so at that point <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay, the only way I'm going to actually beat Jay right now, even with an eight-point lead, is to get him to blow up. And I was like, the only way I can get Jay to blow up is to get in his head. And the only <laughs> way I can really get in his head is Hell by yeah. telling him something that would actually get in his head. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like the only thing that's going to get in Jay's head isn't me. It's going to be me describing something that he's <laughs> doing in a wrong fashion. And so, Jay, like, like I was just saying, Jay plays te- like tennis, so he makes a lot of shots he shouldn't make. Therefore, he gives points to the opponent. So he would do that, and I'd be like, yeah, let Jay beat Jay. Let Jay beat Jay. Jay's <laughs> naturally going to do something dumb right here. Yeah. And so that's what I was saying to him. And, we were, and, and let me describe it. We were having a, we were a nice old time the whole time. Oh. We were talking. We were laughing. And then the second he, that started, I, I no, didn't say words, words the rest of the time. No words. He got I didn't say words. It was like, it was like it let's go. Let's play the game. with me, but he was no, like, no, no, but it was just like, yeah. yeah. I'm going to beat that ass. <laughs> yeah. He was like, immediately <laughs> in his head, it was like, I'm going to wax that ass <laughs> so hard that you're never going to say, let Jay beat Jay, let me beat Jay. <laughs> he, and then the moment it was done, he beat me. He ended up beating me. I walked to the house, and I was all, I actually, I actually got angry over something else, but we won't go over that. <laughs> Um, that he did? Yeah, yeah, that he did. We won't go over it. All right. Because we should you go over it. Because because we pretty, won't go over it. Because because low. We won't go over it because you know deep down there's no way I wouldn't be honorable. Uh, yes and no. It was pretty low. But, uh, but uh, I didn't love it. It, <laughs> it, it, it. it was not the right move at the right time. But this isn't new. This, is all, this has always been a thing. Like you could ask my I brother. Mean, we're going to go over it. The, <laughs> rules are, <laughs> the rules are you get to call outs and ins on serves, right? You got to go cross table on a serve. It's got to start on your side and go to the other side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it hits the line, it's tough. I hit one that I felt was on the line, and it was when the game was 19 to 19. So I no, serve no, 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 no. 19, 18. It was 18, 17. It was 18, 17. 18, 17. So and I happened to go up 19, 17 with that point. First to 21, 18, 17. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? So that's really close. Or it's crunch time. Like, I need them. And, and when you're serving, those are the points you got to get. Yeah. And my serve has been doing really well for me, though, like the last four or five of them. Yeah. We had gone – actually, it was, it was to the point where we had – won our own serves or split uh, we only, only yeah we had we had like split every single yeah, yeah. time so you served twice in a row and no I matter think what it happens seven, yeah, yeah. it was 17 to 17 and he broke my first yeah and we kept on just win lose win so lose win we, lose we kept saying like we were each gonna break so I'm yeah. like I'm gonna win this point and I hit a serve and I thought it hit line he's like nope didn't hit line and I was like oh like what like come <laughs> on now like that was online he's like nope didn't hit line and I'm thinking dude it's 18 17 you're gonna call a line now like, dude, that was on the fucking line. No, he goes nineteen seventeen. His serve. I'm like, I just lost. Hey, the but game. you may. Hey, so, um, I offered to replay the point. Yeah, and like, you said, don't re- you call that replaying up? the point is like the ultimate. Here you go, little bitch. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're damn right. I want you to admit that you want the give back. You know. Yeah, I mean? like, yeah. Like, yep. I want you to take this out of my hand. You're right. And I'm you're not right. ever gonna do that in my entire life. I'll never do. That. I don't care what it is. And so it's like that was like the ultimate. Like also slap in my face. If I thought I was wrong, I wouldn't have said, "Oh, do you want to replay it?" I would have and said, "You're right. Let's let's replay it." Let's replay right it. Now, but I asked him if he wanted to replay it because I'll tell you, you know you what? Right now, you know how tennis out. has that tracker <laughs> that shows where the ball hits and where the line is. Yeah. If that one is out, it is out by a fucking million. Like, you damn right. You damn right. <laughs> and this guy over here is playing full bore. Isn't calling that accurate. Hey! And so I still today will believe that he called it wrong. However, that gave him the leg up, 1917, and it really hurt me. And so I threw the racket down, I left, and I didn't play any more ping pong that day. Because <laughs> that's hardly shit. <laughs> but I was only bad. Was and then we bad forgot about it 60 minutes later, we forgot about it. And then, yeah, and then I then promise you, guys you like, he the moment he came inside, I wasn't angry anymore. Because <laughs> I got over it. Ping pong. <laughs> But God damn it, I hate it. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, I could have shat in his cereal. I could have done some foul things to that man's food. I could have I could have made dinner and ate it in front of him, saying that he was going to have something. Like, sorry, bro, I ate it all. Oh. Didn't make enough. I could have done something like that bad to him. I was pissed. I wasn't happy. I didn't get to see that this side. This is all over ping pong. Oh, dude. It's oh, it gets competitive. So I, thought, I thought Connor was being mad at me earlier because I beat him twice in pool today. He Did didn't. you? No, no, no. Dude, he has, I missed this. You want to know straight baller Tyler moment? Yeah. We're playing cutthroat with Christian. Yeah. You know, five, 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 right? Yeah. And it goes last ball. I do what I want. I have no shot. Yeah. I hit it to where his ball is behind my ball, so he's not going to be able to hit his, right? 
So I'm like, oh, I'm going to get another shot, and hopefully I'll get a better shot. Right. He walks up and hits it over my ball, like does the whole bounce off the table thing. Yeah. And cashes it. And not only does he do it, he does it without... He did like you know when you like are like playing really. He's bad, like don't aim. You just fucking like, just go. He did that and cashed it. And it looked like he knew what he was doing. And he's yeah, like, yeah. all right, let's go. And I'm sitting here like, <laughs> what? I pretty much just walked off. I was like, let's go. Oh, like, huh? Like, I, oh, that was for the dub. Yeah, it was for the dub. Yeah, for the dub. And I was just like, huh? Cause like I, it was my ball and his ball. Like his ball was what. We had each one ball left. Okay. Your ball wasn't that far away from the hole as it is. No, no, I. But, but his was blocking left. his. Yours was blocking his. Mine was blocking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right. So, so I had a jump shot over uh, my ball. Across table. Across table. How close is the the ball you're trying to hit into the pocket? The, uh, two feet. Whoa, oh, that's tough. Shot. It was phenomenal. It was, um, I, so I <laughs> and then he just says, let's go. Yeah, so, yeah. I, so I couldn't be angry. And then we played one later, and he made a couple good shots and one. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. simple as that. And I played really bad. And yeah. You can ask him. I didn't play well. Yeah. Um, and so, but it was just like, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's just well, not your he next. was like... So you're going to hit this shot, and then you're going to line up your next shot. I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm thinking, like, he knows what I'm going to do. Yeah, I yeah. do the complete opposite. He <laughs> yeah. goes hard cut corner to leave himself the worst shot. And I'm like, oh, yeah. what yeah. are you doing? Like a, hard, a hard cut middle. It Ball comes back to me on the other side. The eight ball is it's at the back corner. across the other table. Yeah. And it's like, it's like that much away from the ball covering it, right? All I right. fucking drain it. <laughs> and I'm thinking he just go long table and leave himself a nice sight angle shot. Right, right, right. And he doesn't do that. And I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, I'm a lot of risk. And, I'll, and, he, <laughs> and he cashed them both. And I was like, hey, you were right, I guess. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. I was. Right. I was feeling it today on on pool. I guess. Yeah. Like, and Connor sucked. <laughs> I was not. Good. That he happens. Was not good. So Everybody I, has I those mean, days I'll where take it's a like win either way. Yeah. I, I I've had the really good days and I've had the really bad. My really good days happen in a bar. When I play with people I don't know. When the hell do you go to a bar? I never. Yeah, exactly. Really? So I went to a bar one time. <laughs> you straight hustled these guys, didn't you? Uh, no, I went to the bar one time. And uh, I was with Danielle's friend and her boyfriend. And they were like, yeah, let's play pool. And yeah. uh, he had to be my partner, right? So I'm like, okay. And he's all, he's okay. He's not bad, but he's been drinking a lot more than I have. And these guys have the pool table. And they're like, right, you got to beat us for the table. So I'm like, all right, you know, let's see what we can do. Just destroy them. Mm-hmm. And I run this table for like two and a half hours. No one can take it from me. And I'm like, oh, maybe it's because I'm kind of sober and everyone else is kind of drunk. But uh, fuck you guys, I'm destroying that. <laughs> and I'm not kidding you. I made three shots in a, in one game to end the game on some like bank shots, some double bank shots, some really like like some very impressive shots. And at the end of it, they're like, all right, we're not, we're not, like, we're not gonna play anymore. And I was like, dude, I've never played that well before. Like, I'm glad it showed up today. <laughs> I also played. This <laughs> that one. is a nice time to have it show up. And, yeah. and I was with Chad actually. It was Chad and I, and um, we were playing pool, and um, we were uh, at good times as well. And these guy, this guy was like, had his own, had his own pool stick. Yeah. He was like legit, legit, like destroying everyone. No one could beat this guy. Yeah. And I come up, and I'm not thinking, oh, I'm gonna beat this guy, right? I'm yeah. like, dude, we're gonna get our ass kicked. Yeah. Somehow, some way, I single-handedly beat this dude and kick him off the table. I've never been more proud of myself. <laughs> never been more proud of myself. I was like, screw this old guy who has his own pool stick at a bar. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was just like, screw you. But do you guys? Okay, yeah, I know you guys don't ever go to the bar, right? Yeah. Have you ever seen those guys that try to hustle people who have their own pool sticks, right? They're like, I'll play you for a drink. So they end up not having to pay. They end up buying a single drink the entire like, night, all night long. I've really? never seen that. That happens like, like when we were like first 21, 22, There was this dude that would do this every single weekend. He would never have to buy himself a drink. He would just literally. And, say, and you're saying he, he will walk up to you and be like, "Hey, you want to play some pool for a drink?" And, and we're like, "Dude, no, you're you're a hustler. We know what you're doing." Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, how, how long is it before like everybody that's there is like, "Oh yeah, this is the guy that does this every time." So it's like you play him, right? And yeah. You don't know like before that you play him one time. You're like, "Okay, f- okay, you're a dickhead." Yeah. Like, no, we're not playing you ever again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's annoying. I don't know how it works. I mean, have you, so my brother tried to be a hustler one time. It didn't work. It didn't work. In basketball? Did, yeah, at the T courts is what we called oh them. Outdoor courts. He was playing two on two and he had a really good partner. My brother was okay at basketball. 
and they were playing these guys, and they acted like they couldn't hit a shot, like just absolute bricks. They were like warming and up. And then they bet for 20 bucks, and then all of a sudden they were, like, <laughs> in, you know? Yeah. Like they were shooting them on purposely, hitting them way off the backboard. Like, have you seen the video of that? Uh, yes, that Spice one Adams. really big dude who just. Spice Adams. And he's just chucking it oh, up I, like I, the. Are, the, are, the are you talking about like Along Came Polly when he's like, white yeah, chocolate? Yeah, when he yells white chocolate. <laughs> like they, they were doing that, and then all of a sudden they started making shots. Like right, it, was, right. it was blatantly obvious. They didn't do it yeah. the smart way. And the guy. Yeah. What the guy's doing? Um, I, I honestly can tell you I don't remember just because I was so young and I wasn't there. Yeah. Um, but I can only imagine you're pretty upset when someone's betting you twenty dollars and they act really bad and then all of a sudden are pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can tell you I wouldn't be thrilled. But hustling, hustling's a funny, uh, is a funny thing for sure. Because hustlers can get hustled too, you know. Oh, for sure. Like they can just run, run into the wrong guy. Like, have you seen the videos of that dude? Who goes and um, he like will just start boxing people in a boxing gym? Like he'll, he'll say, "Hey, like let's spar," and then he'll go 110. percent No, no. I, like I want to kill the dude. Like so, he he's just this dude who's clearly pretty fit. Yeah, and he's a smaller guy, but he keeps he, like he'll say like, "Hey, let's you you want to box?" And he'll give him the gloves. Yeah, and then he'll just go 110 percent instead of like what you think someone. Like, if yeah. someone said, "Hey, let me give you some gloves," like let's throw a couple punches. Yeah, I think oh we're gonna barely throw some punches. This is gonna be like really funny. Like we're gonna make a joke out of this. Yeah, he's like. I'm throwing haymakers. I'm going to hurt you. Kind right. Of thing. And, like, he really hits some people that are, like, you can, like, family like members might come bad. back. Like, you, he hits an older guy, and you're like, dude, like, that guy might come back and, like, have some people who are going to kill you. Jesus. Well, he gets in the <sighs> ring one time, and he hands him to this dude who who knows how to box. Yeah. And the guy won't stop. He, yeah. like, is destroying him. And he's, like, trying the other dude who's wh- 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 Who's winning? Who's winning? The guy who he gives the gloves to. Okay. Who, he, he's, like, 190. He's, like, he's the guy who claims to be 198 no or whatever. Because this is what he does, and he ran into one dude. I'm not kidding. He was a little bit bigger, but he knew how to box. Like he was like dipping and dodging, you know. Yeah. And he he got to the point where like it, they become like a wrestling match. Like because he'll keep throwing punches, and the other guy will just hug. Like, well, what are you doing? Like I'm gonna hug and not get punched, you know. Uh-huh. And so like he was trying to do that, and this dude was just wailing on him, and he kept coming back for more. Like the guy would run away, and he'd go to the next room, and be like, no, we're going. And he would just keep, and he just destroyed this dude. And I imagine you probably aren't handing gloves to anyone anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I feel like the hustler can get hustled sometimes. Yeah. And it's and it's really funny. Yeah, you're gonna the, run in the video. Like I was angry. Like watching the video, I was like, dude, yeah, it's if kind this of annoying. Guy handed me these gloves. I promise you, I would suck a punch so hard. Like this guy's a douche. Like he deserves he deserves to get beat up so bad that he's in a hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's what he deserves. And then some dude just beat the shit out of him. Nice. And, like, did it stop? I'm gonna have to watch this video. Like, I kind of want to see the point, it. I'm like curious. to the point where the guy like was like, "I need to get out of here." Like, not like I'm out of fear of my life, but it was to the point where like this guy was like, "I messed up." Like, I gave the gloves to the wrong guy a long yeah. time ago. Yeah, yeah. Like this is the first time it's happened. I've seen kind of a similar uh, thing with that. Not really, but it's this guy that uh, just like goes up to random people on the streets. And he'll give them a pair of boxing gloves, and he'll be like, "Okay, you like I, I don't know if he offers them money or, or what the situation is, but it's all it's all videotaped." And he just says, uh, "I'm giving you gloves. I don't have gloves. I'm not allowed to throw punches, but I just want to see if you can land a punch on me." And he's just insanely good at dodging, and he'll dodge fifty punches to the point where the guy that's throwing punches is like, "I'm tired. I can't throw any more punches." <laughs> and and he's like, "Okay, I win." And he's like, "See you later." Like literally, I'm talking, and they're close. It's not like he's like running away. They're like right here, and he's just like. You will miss every single punch, body or face. It doesn't matter. He like. He well, what about the guy at the wrestling thing that says, "I'll give you five hundred dollars," or "I'm I'm poor, I'll give you five hundred dollars if you meet me in a wrestling match." And he was like a pro wrestler. Okay. And so the, these random guys are like, "Oh, I'll wrestle!" He's like slamming him down on the beach. Yeah. Just destroying these guys. Yeah. And everyone's like, "Okay, this guy's like for real, for real." <laughs> yeah. This isn't even like a good amateur. Like this guy's beating the ass of a lot of people. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. no one's gonna beat this guy. Yeah. Like those guys deserve someone. Someone who could beat them to just put them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know they deserve to get their ass kicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying you should be the guy that's like, yeah, I could beat this dude. I'm going to go ahead and just randomly at the beach wrestle some dude. Like, that's yeah. probably not a smart idea. Right. But, you know, if it's $500 a line, for try. free. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I might put some effort in it. <laughs> yeah. I might say, I'm going to hey, give it a shot. Hey, yeah, yeah, you, can, you may beat my ass, but as long as you don't break my arm, like, let's do this. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just I watch those videos and every once in a while I'm just like, man, these people like you know like someone who's like a true professional boxer, yeah. like that's felony. They're, they're considered weapons. Really? You didn't know that? No. If you are a black belt on anything, you have a weapon and it's your ligaments. Yeah. <laughs> really? Dead serious. Like when they say like I have a registered weapon, I'm talking like about you the are the stuff. weapon. Like is that a st- weapon. is that a state? No, it's a, it's, a, it's like. 
Yeah, that's a federal thing. Hundred percent a felony. Like if, if Floyd Mayweather got a fight with somebody on the street, he would go to jail for first degree felony with you know with uh, whatever weapon. It seems unfair. No, because I mean you're trained. Well, I mean, like you no, are a professional. Yeah, but you, you are but, trained but, but, to hurt people. I with think your it's arm. because like you could kill this guy. Yeah, that's 100%. true. That's so, like true. you have the ability and you have the know it all of how to kill someone. Yeah. yeah. So therefore, you are now a trained assassin. Like you know, you can actually kill someone. So you're saying black belts are trained assassins? If they want to be. I mean, think about it. You've taught them. <laughs> you quite be. literally taught them, th- like, the highest level of hand-to-hand combat. Right. Or hand-and-leg combat. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You taught them the highest level, and they got to that point. They're probably pretty fucking good at hurting someone. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. so this is actually funny. I was, uh, I played uh, softball league, like, last week. We go to Primetime, the bar and grill. Yeah. And there's martial arts like world championships on TV. These guys are sp- like you know javelins, how they're like super yeah, yeah. like long and you know. Yeah. These guys are spinning like javelin sticks and shit like f- super fast. Wait, at like, each other? No, like so they're like say like Connor and I like yeah, come yeah. together. Yeah. They are in unison spinning these sticks. Yeah. yeah. Like madmen and throwing it in the air, doing three sixty, you know, what? the turns and catching it behind their back, and then yeah, they flip yeah. it around and stuff like. Yeah. You could kill somebody. Oh, well, for how sure. About, how about this? So you may, Jordan may remember this day because I thought it was one of the funniest things I've ever had in my life. However, I was visiting so my Redmond store. So Redmond, Oregon, you know, okay. 20,000 people, 30,000 people, whatever it is. Not a very big town. Um, and I'm visiting the store and they are right next to a bar. And they're usually, the bars usually, you know, fairly slow throughout the day because I visit, you know, at noon or two or three. Usually most bars aren't popping then. Well, this bar was popping. Like, the parking lot was full, and it's never full. I'm like, what the hell is going on at the bar? Yeah. So when I leave, I go and see what they have on their board, why they're popping. Guess what they had on their board for that day? What? Was it, like, a celebrity? They had midget wrestling. Oh. In the bar? I the forgot bar. about and that. I was oh, like, yeah. And I was sitting here like, <laughs> this is real. <laughs> like, this is the actual thing. Like, that, people promote like what like i, I just want to know this what is the talk <laughs> you put a craigslist that's like midgets needed <laughs> no dude there's a you can't pro, just there, say that no, there's a pro midget wrestling you gotta say more than that, that did you is. know that Bec- like you know like seven feathers like they always have midget wrestling every year is what it, it's a traveling like circuit is it fun to watch? <laughs> i don't know i've never watched it but <laughs> i know i know this <laughs> is the fun. way the way you ask that question makes me think that you really want to find out i feel like we need to go see this it's not that i really want to find out and it's because it's it's like <laughs> to me it's like it's a midget like who cares right like, right, right. No that's difference. what makes it like hell yeah but at the same time like clearly there's something really cool about it because people pay to go see it. Like, if you, for example, if you watch two fighters fight, they're not midgets. There's, it's probably more of an entertainment thing, and you're oh, not... Oh, and you're, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if they're midgets, you're probably laughing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of yeah. smiles in the well, crowd. I feel like if it's, if it's two, like, you know, <laughs> two bo- professional boxers, you're watching it because it's entertaining, right. plus you probably have money on it. Right. right. That's true. That's a good point. Would you have money on midgets? Yes, <laughs> I don't. There's probably people like, that do. Oh, uh, uh, probably. But like, I would just show up to be there to watch these guys. You, you know what? Major right, just as sheer entertainment value. You yeah. know what it would be like for me? Who is the most dramatic person you know? Like every little thing they do. Overboard. <sighs> well, you know what I mean. They do every little thing they do overboard. They're just kind of like a baby. N- well, no, 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 not even, no. not even that. Just really exaggerated. Oh, Very I have, exaggerated. So, I have someone I'm trying to talk you into saying. But, you know, you know, like, that person that they would run, they're going to run just so, like, they're going to... So flailingly. They're going to do it over again. You hit them with the ball, they're going to say, ow, and they're going to give you that look like you just hurt them. <laughs> I'm not going to say a name. <laughs> can you think of a name? Oh, I can think of a couple. Uh, can you think of the same name I'm thinking of? I don't know. <laughs> but you know that person. We know a lot of the same people. <laughs> you know that person who's just over exaggerating everything they do. Like, is, this, is this a guy or a girl? Uh, we're just gonna leave it at that because I, I, we don't need to get in trouble. But it's a dude. Uh, okay. uh, but imagine, imagine that person, right? Yeah. You, like you barely punch in the <gasps> arm. They act like you punched them so hard in the arm. Right? I actually think I know you're talking. Okay, about. Okay, we'll probably do watch. We'll, we'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like yeah, you know yeah. that person. Yeah. I feel like it's like that. 
kind of. Yeah. <laughs> that, but that on both sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like you're going to see someone get thrown, and the entire crowd is going to be like, oh, huh? and they're going to get up like, you just fucking threw me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be so entertaining is seeing one of those little midgets jumping off the top rope. <laughs> Like, oh, I wonder how long it takes them to get up there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's <not laughs> Am I wrong, though? No, you're not wrong. Like, I'm not trying to be a dick, but that's funny. <laughs> okay, I, I, I see where the humor goes. The, the, the prep is all... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I just wanted to mean that's entertainment. <laughs> I, but, it is, though. But you want to know what's funny? That was also entertainment in medieval times. That's a good point. You know what I mean? So, like, it, that was ne- not fascinating back then. People were fascinated by midgets back then. That's true, true. You know what I mean? Like, that was like, oh, like, this, that's probably where midget wrestling started. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's where it originated. Just saying. Yeah, true. You know, I've been putting this mic on wrong the entire time. I've been thinking, like, the clamp needs to be where I want it. Not that there's a spot. For it and then a clamp to not allow. What have you? Wh- what have you been doing? So you You've see been how clamping it on the. I've been the clamping it on, not putting it in a spot at the end so the clamp stops it from. He being literally puts it on the. the oh. Uh, that's part. why it's fell twice. And yeah, then it's I not smart. It, and I'm just like, God, I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah. I'm really being a real pee hole at that point. <laughs> that's very, what I thought very, of right. Very big pee hole. That's what we're calling it right there. 